welcome students this is lecture number 18 for the center of gravity now in this lecture as i have told you we will start two more numericals these are special numericals you can see how these numericals are special you can see in the data we have to find cg of the plane lamina which is symmetrical how you can see from the figure that if you will cut this figure exactly about y axis symmetrical to y axis then it will be forming mirror image on both the sides okay so it is known as symmetrical to y axis figure so whenever the figure is symmetrical to y axis then x bar can be directly find out which is equal to width of the section divided by 2 remember this when the figure is symmetrical to y axis then x bar we have to directly calculate which is equal to width of the section by 2 no need to do method for x bar okay you can see here this is 60 degree this is also 60 degree it means third angle is also 60 degree it means this is the equilateral triangle for the equilateral triangle if you see that this length is 20 cm this length is 20 cm and radius of the semi circle which is to be cut out is also 10 so total will be 20 again so total base of the triangle will be 60 so each and every side is also 60 now from the figure if you imagine that this is the right angle triangle then what happens 10 60 what is 10 60 height opposite side means height divided by adjacent sides which is equal to half of the base so h by 30 so from this you can imagine what is h so h will be 30 into 1060 okay so which is equal to 51.96 cm written over here but we are interested in calculating x bar only so this figure is symmetrical to y axis so x bar will be equal to width of the section divided by 2 so width of the section is now 60 so here it is 60 by 2 which is equal to 30 cm so this is x bar 60 by 2 30 cm h is equal to 51.96 centimeter so hence these are the calculations now let us see the y bar calculation for the y bar in the next page see the same figure over here we are interested in calculating y bar only now so for that taking part 1 as a full triangle for y bar we have to require we have requirement of x axis to measure all the values so for part 1 full triangle the area a1 will be equal to half of base into height so you can see what is base of the triangle it is 20 plus 20 plus 20 so base will be 61 half 60 and height we have calculated earlier which is equal to 51.96 so total answer will be 1558.8 cm square similarly what happens with the cg so you must know that cg of the triangle is somewhere over here which is at the distance of h by 3 from the bottom so height of the triangle is 51.96 divided by 3 which is equal to 17.32 cm so it is y bar let us take circle this is the small circle having diameter 6 cm only so from the center you can see what is radius 6 by 2 is equal to 3 so here it is the area of the circle pi r square pi into 3 square which is equal to 28.27 cm square now what is y2 from uh, the center of the circle you can imagine from the center to the bottom the distance will be 30 which is already given so here it is directly y2 equal to 30 cm what is a3 now a3 means area of this semi circle which is equal to pi r square by 2 the radius of the semi circle is 10 so pi into 10 square by 2 which is equal to 157.07 cm square so what is y3 now it is 4r by 3 pi as you can see from the formula semi circles cg is at a distance of 4r by 3 pi from the bottom so it will be 4 into 10 by 3 pi 4.24 cm as the radius is 10 cm but we are interested in calculating y bar so now you can see from the figure that triangle is only positive section out of which we have to deduct two sections one is a small circle and the second is a semi circle so it will be a1 y1 minus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 upon a1 minus a2 minus a3 
So all the values calculated in part 1, 2 and 3 are replaced over here and y bar will be calculated as 18.55 centimeter. So here it is y bar 18.55 centimeter. Let us see one more numerical to find some values. Okay. Let's start example number 10. From a circular plane of 100 mm diameter, a square plate of 50 mm diagonal is cut out as shown in figure. So this is the circle of 100 mm diameter and this is the square to be cut out which is having diagonal 50 mm. Now you just remember that if the square is there then both the sides actually four sides are equal which is equal to x and we have to calculate cg. But remember that the section is symmetrical about x axis now. If you draw x axis from the center like this then from the up and bottom side the figure is mirror image figure is forming mirror image so it is symmetrical to x axis so now we are calculating y bar directly which is equal to height divided by 2 so what is the height height is actually the diameter of the circle so diameter of the circle is 100 mm so y bar is equal to 100 by 2 which is equal to 50 mm and x bar remains to be calculated now let us talk about this square if you take this small right angle triangle then what is pythagoras theorem it is x square plus x square equal to 50 square. So here it is x square plus x square equal to 50 square. So 2x square equal to 50 square which is equal to 2500. So x equal to 35.3500. Now let us take part 1 which is circle. So what is the diameter of the circle? It is 100. And what is radius? It is 50. So area will be pi r square. So pi into 50 square. So answer will be 7853.98 mm square. Now x1. What is x1? If you draw the y axis over here, then from this y axis, the center of the circle is the CG, like this. So it is equal to the radius, which is equal to 50 mm. So x1 equal to 50 mm. But if you want to find the calculation for the square, then as we have calculated earlier, this is the side of the square, which is 35.35 mm. So area will be x into x side square, which is 1249.62 mm square. Now what is x2? Let us see from the figure that this is the center of the square diagonal. So from the y axis the distance is total diameter minus this reverse 25 which is equal to 50 by 2. Remaining, uh, remember again this is the total diameter which is 100 divided sorry minus this 25. So 100 minus 25 it is 75 or you can see from the forward direction this is 50 up to the circle center this is 50 plus this 25 of the diagonal which will give you 50 plus 25 75 so these are the calculations for the part 1 which is square and the part 2 which is sorry part 1 which is circle and part 2 which is square by subtracting part 2 from part 1 we will calculate the center of gravity of the entire section let us see again so this is the calculation of x bar. There are only two parts. So we have to do a1 x1 minus a2 x2 upon a1 minus a2. So which is equal to 7853.98 into 50 minus 1249.62 into 75 upon this. So this is the answer. So x bar will be equal to 45.27 mm. So g means center of gravity in which x coordinate is 45.27 mm which is calculated over here and y bar we have find out directly which is equal to height of the section by 2 means diameter by 2 which is equal to 100 by 2 which is equal to 50 mm. So this is the calculation for x bar and y bar for the symmetrical figure. So friends this is for the today's lecture. In today's lecture we have discussed two numericals. First numerical is symmetrical about y axis and the second numerical is symmetrical about x axis. So by the help of these two numericals we can practice this center of gravity in the next lecture possibly we will start new topic of the same chapter let us discuss in the next lecture only till then you just practice these numericals very well and ask me for any doubts till then thank you very